It really is a very clear message about everyone, every day, going home safe. And that, obviously, as we've heard from David, is the key strategy within Robert Woodhead's. I'm sure you're all aware that just recently the HSE purge, particularly in the London area, has demonstrated that 25% of the sites that they visited weren't actually fit to work. They were unsafe. And again, they were issuing many improvement notices and many prohibition notices, notices that affect you and Woodheads, and obviously not City Council here today. We do need to make sure the work is safe because we do need to make sure your employees go home safe. And obviously the inconvenience of having a notice issued is also quite significant. The accident here, um, clearly it demonstrated that Eric wasn't on site and I wonder how many of you have ever met Eric before. Does anybody have Eric working on their sites? Do I take that silence as a no? Okay, Eric, very simply, it's the hierarchy of risk management. You'll find it if you're really boring and sad like me and read the management of health and safety work at Regs for Tea. Uh, but predominantly we call him Eric. I'm gonna put him on here. Eric prevents death. Eric is very similarly taken as what can we do when we've actually done our risk assessment? You've all got generic risk assessments, but what about site risk assessments? So the E is can we actually eliminate the hazard? If we can't eliminate the hazard, can we actually reduce it? Like with this accident here, working at height, reducing the number of people maybe that were working on the roof. And if we can't reduce it, can we actually isolate the area? So quite clearly, we could have fitted barriers around a fragile skylift, um, and that would have actually stopped the person falling through. Or we could actually control it through safe systems of work, through maybe through a lanyard, something like that, to make sure, again, we were actually preventing the accident. Eric prevents death, quite clearly. 35 people died last year. 35 times where if we'd used Eric, he could have prevented the death. So therefore we use the PPE. I know you'll all know. PPE, protective equipment, is the last resort. So if we can't remove the hazard any other way, then let's use PPE. And that can be down to our safety boots and our goggles, depending upon the hazards we identify. The latter one is discipline. So again, with discipline, we can actually help monitor and improve our employees' knowledge of what they should be doing to make sure they're acting safely every time. And again, with Woodheads, that's what we're trying to support you on as we jointly move forward and make sure that all of your guys, all of Woodheads' subcontractors, are all working safely.